A host of celebrities have shared their thoughts on the BBC's impartiality row involving football pundit Gary Lineker, with a number of them supporting him. The BBC announced yesterday that Gary, 62, would take a break from hosting Match of the Day until they have an agreed and clear position on his use of social media. Several fellow pundits announced that they would boycott Match of the Day in response, with the show set to air on Saturday night without any presenters or pundits. Gary became embroiled in a debate over impartiality after comparing the language used to launch a new UK government asylum policy to Germany in the 1930s. He said in a post on Twitter earlier this week, there is no huge influx. We take far fewer refugees than other major European countries. This is just an immeasurably cruel policy directed at the most vulnerable people in language that is not dissimilar to that used by Germany in the 30s. Celebrities and fans alike have been sharing their thoughts on social media in recent days, with a number of people having expressed their support for Gary. Some have taken to Twitter with hashtags such as hashtag stand with Gary and hashtag I stand with Gary Lineker to voice their support for the former footballer. Here are some of the celebrities who have expressed support. Carol Vorderman Media Personality Carol Vorderman, 62, who regularly tweets criticism of the UK government, posted a message this week using the hashtag hashtag I stand with Gary. She shared footage from BBC's headquarters in London on Saturday which featured a quote from George Orwell. It read, If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. Don French actress and comedian Don French, 65, retweeted a post from a Twitter user which read, Shakespeare saying stand with Gary Lineker. as only he can. The Post quoted a passage from Shakespeare's play Sir Thomas More. Alongside the retweeted post, French added, this. Hashtag I stand with Gary Lineker. Piers Morgan TV presenter and journalist Piers Morgan, 57, has said that he didn't agree with Gary's tweet, but has expressed support over him being able to express such views. In one tweet about the situation, he wrote, Gary didn't say any of it on the BBC, and isn't even a BBC employee. I didn't agree with what he said, but so what? It's his opinion. In another post, Piers said, free speech is the cornerstone of democracy, the moment Britons agree to be told what we're allowed to say or think, democracy dies. Ian Wright Former footballer Ian Wright 59, has been one of the, the most vocal supporters of colleague Gary, with whom he regularly appears alongside on Match of the Day. Seemingly addressing the situation on Friday night, he tweeted, Everybody knows what Match of the Day means to me, but I've told the BBC I won't be doing it tomorrow. Solidarity He also expressed his view on the latest episode of his podcast Ridey's House. He said, let me tell you something if the BBC do get rid of Gary Lineker I am out. I am gone, I am not staying there. On his own platform, he should be able to say what he wants to say, Ian said before he later added, I am behind him. Alan Shearer there also appears to be support from fellow pundit Alan Shearer, 52. The former footballer and manager announced that he had pulled out of Saturday's match of the day. He simply tweeted on Friday, I have informed the BBC that I won't be appearing on Mott tomorrow night. Philip Pullman Gary has also received backing from writer Philip Pullman, 76, who is best known for the His Dark Materials trilogy. The author issued a tweet about the situation this week. 
He wrote in a post on the platform, I hope the BBC finds this all very difficult. Meanwhile, my admiration for Gary Lineker, Ian Wright, and Alan Shearer is unbounded. Kazuo Ishiguro It's been reported that novelist Kazuo Ishiguro, 68, has also defended Gary. BBC reporter Colin Patterson said he spoke to the Nobel Prize in Literature recipient at a recent event. Colin tweeted that Kazuo said, I think has become one of the really important cultural figures for the country. I think he stands for really good things. I'm fully behind him on this. He added that Kazuo said his support was over freedom of speech. Alex Scott pundit and former footballer Alex Scott, 38, has also waded into the row, with her having pulled out of hosting BBC show Football Focus this weekend. She tweeted on Saturday morning, I made a decision last night that even though I love doing football focus and we have had an incredible week winning an SJA award that it just doesn't feel right going ahead with the show today. Hopefully I will be back in the chair next week. It was later reported that football focus and final score wouldn't air on Saturday after pundits, such as Alex, pulled out amid the row involving their BBC colleague Gary. Germaine Genus fellow pundit and former footballer Germaine Genus, 40, has expressed support for Gary this week too. He shared a response to the situation on Friday evening. The TV presenter tweeted, I wasn't down to be doing match of the day tomorrow, but if I was I would have said no and stood with my fellow pundits and, Gary. Fern Britton TV presenter Fern Britton, 65, appeared to voice her support for Gary recently. She initially waded into the debate by saying that whilst she shares Gary's view on the migrant refugees, he has signed a contract. Fern said on Friday, I have signed a few and all of them ask that you are impartial. It'd say that includes sport teams as well as political teams. It may not be fair but that's what you sign. Fern however later tweeted, it's now thought that, Gary, might not be bound to the kind of contract a lot of us have been. If that is the case I can stop being so old school. While I'm at it, the inhumanity of this government towards desperate refugees is appalling. And BBC bosses are in the ST. Mark Chapman radio presenter Mark Chapman, 49, reportedly decided to boycott coverage of Saturday's football. BBC Radio 5 Live is said to provide updates and analysis on the day's events through that is understood to have not happened in full after some staff refused to take part. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. Co.uk or call us direct 207 Come